I came back to Montgomery. I'm going to go to Alabama State, lived on the west side of town. Alabama State's on the east side. Had to use the bus transportation. I became keenly aware, because I knew it generally to begin with, about the problems that African Americans were having on the buses in Montgomery. Just being mistreated, asked to get up and give whites their seats. As well as there had been one altercation between a person and a bus driver, which resulted in the African American being killed. So I concluded, didn't know anything about lawyers, didn't know anybody who was a lawyer, but I understood that lawyers helped solve problems, and I thought we had a problem in Montgomery. So I made a secret commitment, that is, I was going to finish Alabama State, enroll in somebody's law school someplace, and destroy everything segregated I could find. That was my commitment. So I came up, spent a couple of days with a relative of mine here, and enrolled in September of 1951. Basically, that's how I prepared myself. But I also took the bar review course here and had enough sense to stop by Columbus and take the Ohio bar in June, and then I took the Alabama bar in July. It prepared me not only to do what I did in the civil rights field, but we also have, and over the years, have developed a very good general practice. I think Case Weston served me well in preparing me to be a lawyer, including the civil rights work which most people know me for. <laughs>